you welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. In my hands is the latest Marvel Gears and Goods. The blue box. You can tell from the color of it. It's the blue box. They're doing this, like, color thing going on. We just did the red box. This is the blue box. The purple box is coming up. And I think this is the latest one. I don't know if the red one was supposed to come out before or after this. A little lost as to when Loot Crate is sending stuff out, but whatever. It's the latest box that we've got. So the Marvel Gear and Goods box is between Loot Crate and Marvel. You get a bunch of goodies at your doorstep uh, every other month. Uh, and what's what nice about this box is it tends to be stuff that like is actually useful. Uh, it's not just toys or, or uh, you know kitschy things here and there. It's actually things that uh, have some utility to them. So it's a box that I actually enjoy. So we're going to open up, we're going to show this off, see what's inside, and go from here. Now, the red box w was interesting. Like, it was uh, maybe one of the weaker boxes they put out in a while, but it was still, like, a decent box, especially compared to a lot of other things. So we're going to open up, we're going to show off what is inside here, and immediately we are starting with a t-shirt featuring Doctor Strange. I think this actually could probably tell you when this was supposed to uh, be released and that it is a baseball uh, tee, which I, I I don't know. I kind of go back and forth as far as uh, uh, styles on that. I don't know how well I look on that. Uh, but Doctor Strange uh, t-shirt, I actually think it's a pretty cool design. I'm kind of digging it. Just nice, simple, strange on a t-shirt. Nothing, uh, nothing too crazy about that. So, so far, so good. Uh, I'm fairly happy about it. All right, what do we got here? We got Thor, Mjolnir, a light up keychain. Oh, there we go. I summon Mjolnir. Ah. Um, yeah, I mean, keychains, again, they're useful. I've got three billion keychains. Key One with a light, though, is actually something that I could probably use. So this is uh, something that actually might be used and see some usage. Uh, we'll see some usage somewhere. We got here, we got a survival whistle. That's interesting. Is there, summon your own helpful Yaka arrow with the Yandu survival whis whistle made from advanced Centurion technology. This something aluminum alloy whistle is great for camping, hiking, intimidating subordinates. Interesting. Well, I'm not going to whistle, but there's like, there's some nice writing on it. Really small detail on it, but it's different. I'm going to give them credit on this. It's definitely something different. Um, all right, we got a collapsible bowl. So it looks like a whole bunch of like camping things. There's a camping theme going on. I, I picked up on this. It's taking me a little while, but I picked up on this. So we got a keychain with the light. That would be helpful for camping. This is a collapsible bowl, which is kind of cool. I don't know how you actually... Oh, here we go. Let's see if I can open this up properly when you do this. Oh. <laughs> there we go. I feel like a doofus on that. Nice bowl. Cap comes off and on the bottom. Honor, loyalty, courage, sacrifice. Sounds like stuff that we could actually use nowadays from a lot of people. Um, something that's useful. Let's go again. It's, it's something that's actually useful that uh, I don't have one of these. And that could be really cool with a small child. This is, feels like something that uh, I could put some like Cheerios or something in there for her. And I don't know what else. Maybe some ice cream that melts. Uh... So far, it's it's a really interesting box because uh, these are actually useful items. They do feel a little bit chintzy. I'm not going to deny on that, but it's creative and there's a nice theme to it. Uh, so I'm kind of I'm kind of torn on this one. All right, we got a Captain Marvel uh, uh, compass. There we go. Nice compass. Very appropriate for Captain Marvel. They call it an orienteering compass. I don't know how well these work. I've always wondered how much, how well these compasses work. I kind of go, let's see here. North, I think, is that way. So, according to this, north is about that way. Actually, yeah, it's about that way. That's pretty good. That, that, that comes out pretty solid, then. This works. 
I've always wondered how well these type of things work. Um, again, plastic doesn't feel like super high quality, but it's different, and it feels like something that would be useful. So not a bad thing. There's also a, what looks like measurements around it, so that's kind of cool. Some helpful measurements. Fascinating. All right, final item of the box is a beast mug, camping mug. I don't know what a camping mug is, but let's find out what a camping mug is. I imagine it's just a mug. Well, this feels weird because I don't know why you... Oh, yeah, oh. Ooh, we got a nice metal mug with beast, some formulas on there. I'm intrigued to know what the formula is on it. If anyone knows, sound off. Maybe it is... I don't... H3C... Is this what turned them blue? That would be actually really kind of cool. Uh, camping mug. So it seems... Is this ceramic? I can't quite tell if this is ceramic or metal. It feels ceramic. I don't know how well this will hold up camping. So that's a good question. It's a nice mug, though. This is actually a really nice mug. And on the bottom it says... If found, please return to Professor McCoy, care of Xavier Institute on the bottom, which is small detail, but a nice detail. Uh, and then, of course, you get the box, and the boxes are always really cool and really nice for these. Uh, so overall, like, I, I like the theme of the box. I think they've done, done some interesting stuff. The mug is really nice. Uh, the collapsible bowl is actually kind of cool and useful, and the t-shirt's really solid. Uh, the whistle, the the um, um, the compass, the the keychain, like I I dig what they did with it. Uh, I'm not sure the quality was there. Like I might have been able to go with maybe one or two less of the items, but a higher quality item, if that makes sense. Like they all kind of feel chintzy and a little cheap. But overall, like I I dig the direction. I'm gonna give them. This is nice, solid effort. This is definitely like maybe a B minus, C plus, something like that. You can go and get your own Marvel gear and goods. The The current box is purple is the theme. I'm um, expecting something with Sentinels in it, Magneto, uh, Gambit, maybe Blink. That's the other one I can think of. I don't know who else I would expect through the... Uh, uh, through that, but it should, be, it should be a really interesting box when it eventually gets here. Hopefully soon, I'm kind of digging these theme boxes. Uh, we got a link beneath this video. It's an affiliate link, so we get a small percentage of that by doing that. You help support our site, though. Um, and speaking of support, like if you want to uh, do so even more so, check us out at graphicpolicy.com. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on YouTube. Just give us a like. Give us a share. All that stuff. Much appreciated. And visit our site. And, you know, we get a little ad revenue as well. So thank you for that. Uh, but beyond that, like, if you're into comics, if you're into Marvel, uh, if you're really into Loot Crate, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. Again, we're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all, all that stuff. All of graphic policy. Keep it nice and consistent. So until next time, thanks so much for watching. And keep it geeky. Geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.